How do you demonstrate the impact that you're having as an online digital scholar? We're going to talk about that right now. Hey everybody, I'm Lee Hall from teachingacademia.com and I'm all about giving you the tools you need to navigate academia and make your best impact. So what we're doing today is talking about how do you demonstrate that you're making an impact if you are you know, working to develop an online digital presence. So let's talk about that a little bit because I think one of the things that, you know, one of the issues that comes up with having an online digital presence is it's not something that's always valued in the tenure and promotion process. So the first thing that I'm gonna tell you here is check your TMP guidelines, talk to your department chair, um, because even though having an online digital presence isn't gonna get you tenure, um, it can still help you with your overall case in terms of how you make it impact. And you just want to be aware of this going forward, how having an online presence connects to TMP, just because you want to make sure that you balance out the amount of time that you spend engaging in your online digital presence, right? You want to make sure that if you are doing too much, you know you're doing too much and you're okay with that and you're making up for um, other things in other ways at other times, but you don't want to be skewed so much that it, it ends up costing you tenure. But when you do turn in you know, your TMP materials, even your annual review materials, you do want to make people aware that you have developed this online digital presence. How do you do that? Okay. So obviously if you are, if you're working to become part of a conversation, right? So in the previous video, I discussed how having an online digital presence could be about just simply joining something like a Facebook group or joining Twitter or being on Instagram and being a part of the conversations that are happening around higher ed. That, you know, for the most part, unless you've got a heavy volume of followers, that's probably not something that you're going to be able to use, right, in a TMP document or an annual review document. However, the other way that I talked about where you are creating content that you are sharing, right, and this could be like maybe you host your own Facebook group, right, and you're sharing content and you're cultivating that or you have your own blog or your own YouTube channel that connects to your work in some way or you're very active on Twitter sharing information about teaching or scholarship, right, in some way to connect with others. How do you demonstrate that that work matters, all right? So to do that, you wanna go into your analytics and that's gonna be whatever platform you primarily use. So, um, you know, Twitter has analytics, Instagram has analytics, everything has analytics. You are going to want to show such things as how many followers you have. As you are building this across the years, you can start to show how your followers have increased over time. You can look for, um, you know, like for example, on YouTube, it'll talk about how many people have viewed your videos in this year, in a year or over a specific time period, how many minutes were watched. So how many countries, right? How many people from around the world, what different countries are represented in your analytics? And it's the same thing if you have, for example, a WordPress account, you can see if you have a worldwide reach, all right? And obviously at the end of year one, this reach may not be that big. So you have to stick with it for the long haul, right? To build out that content, to build out that audience, to make those connections and make that impact. But as you are doing this, particularly if you start in grad school or your first year on the tenure track, you know, by the time you go up for tenure, you can show this trajectory of how you have built and created a sustainable, serious impact that it might just influence primarily people in the country that you live in, and that's fine. It might also make a bigger worldwide impact, and you'll be able to demonstrate that through your analytics. Now, that won't get you tenure, but it will help you make the case that your work matters, your conversations matters, and you are helping others. So, if you like this video and you want more, click right here, and I will see you over in the next one.